Hey everybody, I know it's a little late. Happy New Year! Um, I'm gonna make a little crazy kick-ass soup for you today. Um, it's a potato and ham chowder. Not your regular soup. Like, I prefer cream and like chowder-based uh, soups and sauces. Um, I'm sure you've kind of noticed that a little bit. That's just my personal preference. If you don't, that's perfectly fine. Uh, although you're wrong. Um, I've got some potatoes. Uh, I got about five potatoes. I cut up, and they're rough. I didn't dice them perfectly finely. I've got some big chunks, and I've got some itty bitty guys. The smaller ones are going to break down, and help thicken the soup. The larger ones, that's what we're going to be eating. I also have a pound and a half of smoked ham. Um, this is not like deli meat ham or anything like that. It's a, that's a pound and a half of smoked ham. And I also have half a pound of cheese. I know, it sounds like a lot of cheese, right? Well, it is. I've got three different types of cheddar. I've got a mild, I've got a sharp, and I've got a Vermont. Um, that's, I don't know if you can see it, but that's the little bits of white cheese that you see there. That's a Vermont cheddar. Absolutely amazing. We're gonna do a chowder base. So we're gonna use some flour and some milk, actually, and some butter, and whip that down and, and make a chowder base. I'm also adding just a can of corn. And, of course, one of my favorites, a can of carrots. Um, salt, pepper, a bay leaf. I, you know, I got my little bay leaves here. That's about it. This cooks very, very quickly because pretty much everything is cooked aside from the potatoes. Um, and uh, it's... Oh man, it's it's extremely delicious. The, the smoked ham and um, oh wait a minute, there's one thing I forgot. Hold on a second. <laughs> oh, oh, I didn't really forget. I was just playing bacon. I got a quarter pound of bacon here. Um, I'm gonna use most of this inside the actual soup. But the rest, I'm gonna use as a garnish on the top with some crunchy onions. You know those little bags of crunchy onions you get at the store? Oh yeah. Bacon, crunchy onion on top, a little bit of parsley. Oh, now you're talking. This is gonna be amazing. Check this out. It is so simple. Like, wow. Um, over here, I do have some stock uh, boiling and it's uh, amazing. Check this out. What I have here is I have 12 cups, which seems, it sounds like a lot. 12 cups, eh, it really isn't, of chicken stock that I added some onions to. That's that's what we've got going on here. That's, that's it. Super, super simple. Well, we're making a soup, so of course it's super simple, right? And I got my stock pot back here. You definitely don't want to try to pour this in uh, when you got the lid on because then it just goes everywhere and that's just a bad time. You don't want that. I've got my corn. Dump it in. I've got my carrots. I'm going to spread the corn out a little bit because I uh, accidentally put a lid in there. You don't want to do that because that, uh, that kind of hurts a little bit. Carrots. Dump it in. <laughs> Make sure to take the lid off your carrots. And there's always a straggler for some weird reason. Look, look at this guy. He's trying to get away. Nope. Nope. Not today. <laughs> ham. Look at all that ham. That is a lot of ham. And you can see the way I baked it. I've got a nice, nice flavorful crust on that. Dump it in. Wham, bam, oh. thank you, ham. Yeah, thank you, ham, but this one tried to get away. And your taters. Look at those guys. See, I always leave a little little bit of skin here and there because it's actually good for you and it tastes good. Look at that. See, that's what, you don't want to rinse this. You wash your potatoes, but we want that starch in there. It's going to help thicken it. Look at that. That is awesome. 
Now for the hard part. The hard part is getting all this liquid into that pot. So I'm going to move it to the side, pull this forward, and try not to make a huge mess. Let's see how this works out for me. Ready? One, two, three. Let's dump it. Boom. Now, I'm not sure how well you can see this, but you want just enough to cover. We're going to thicken this up and turn it into a chowder. At this point, we're going to start our chowder base and um, just let this cook. I've got my flame on like a very low, low, low flame at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kick that up to medium. Since we're using canned vegetables, they're already essentially cooked. The ham, I already baked it off. That's already cooked. The only thing that isn't cooked is the potatoes. So the time that it's going to take, about 30, 45 minutes um, to cook this is simply just to cook the potato. That's it. This roux is going to come together in minutes. So what I'm going to do is let this come to a, like a boil and then I'm going to reduce it to a simmer and let it sit for probably like 15 minutes. Then we're going to start the roux, add the roux, finish the soup. It's going to be absolutely delicious. Um, the only thing we might need to do after this is add some salt, our pepper, and our bay leaf, which we're, we're going to go ahead and throw those in there. They're actually delicious. Uh, they impart some flavor, and they're very, very good for you. So, um, well, I'm going to lift this up. I'm going to clean up a little bit here, and, um, yeah. We'll see you in just a minute. Okay, folks, here's the fun part. Um, we've got this soup, like, it's been boiling, it's been simmering. Uh, the potatoes are done. You take a potato and you kind of like smash it against the side. Um, I can actually show you that if you want to see. Um, you just kind of fish it out with a fork and smash it against the side. And if it <coughs> explodes, uh, the potatoes are done. So at this point, what we need to do is make a roux. Uh, we've talked about roux before. Um, this one is a tiny bit different, actually, because we're adding milk instead of like a stock or anything like that. Um, let me show you. As you can see in this skillet, it's nice and hot. We have about a quarter cup of butter and some oil. That's it. What we want to do is just kind of break up the butter. It, it'll take a little, little bit to uh, melt down, which that's what you want. You just want to kind of incorporate it. Just mix it around a little bit until it melts. And here comes the fun part. Flour. I have one cup of flour here. You don't want to add it all at once. Just kind of shake it a little bit. Add a little bit of flour. Mix it around. It's going to look really clumpy. It's going to look really weird. You're like, what is going on here? Well, you're making a roux. That's what's going on. I'm going to make sure all that butter, all that oil, that flour just comes together. You might need to add a little bit more butter. You might need to add a little bit more oil. It, it really depends. Um, I've got one full cup of flour and one half cup of butter. And just a couple squirts of, of oil in there. I really couldn't tell you how much that is. Um, probably two tablespoons. I don't generally measure unless I'm baking. Um, I cook with the heart and my eyes. And we all have eyes, otherwise you wouldn't be uh, watching this video. But just keep this moving, keep it stirring. Now, at this point, see, it's looking like I need to add a little bit more butter. I'm not going to add more oil. We, we don't want this to be oily. We just, we just kind of want some butter. Because I need to add some more flour. We just kind of want this to uh, slowly incorporate. And this is the thing with roux. Making a roux, you have to make sure... I, You know, I think the dog just screwed up my camera angle. 
No, nope, we're still good, Hesh. Okay, thank you. Just want to make sure because the dog just came in and we want to make sure that the, the flour like taste kind of cooks out. So, I do believe I need a little bit more butter because I still have way more than half a cup of flour here. I need all of this flour because we have a lot of soup in this stock pot. So, I'm going to go ahead and add another quarter cup. Well, I can use my finger because it's just uh, Chef Lynn and I eating. So, you know, if I were in a restaurant, you don't you, you don't do that. But you, 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 you no, know, that's 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 bad. There we go. A little more butter. Keep mixing. Yeah, no, that was pretty. Like, oh yeah. Oh, he just like, scraped off with his finger. But well, it's just my wife and I eating. So. Um, that's okay. We share germs anyways. I'm not worried about it. She's not worried about it. If you were to cook this in a restaurant, uh, never, ever, 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 ever uh, even think about doing that. But, thankfully, this is just the brown house, so we're good. I'm going to dump the rest of this flour in there. Wow, that looks like a lot, doesn't it? Well, it is a lot. We have a lot of soup. Try not to do what I just did and get flour all over yourself. You want to cook this down. I'm going to add a little bit more butter. And uh, you know what? I think I'm going to add a little bit of oil to this because I, I just, uh, I'm not liking the way this looks yet. So I got my handy dandy squeezy bottle of some oil. Shoot some in. A little bit more butter. That's about an eighth of a cup. Stir. This is the pain in the butt part about making a roux, is you gotta continually stir this, cook the flour taste out. This is a thickening agent. And we're not done yet. We are not done yet. We're actually doing a chowder base. So what we're going to do is once this kind of like browns out a little bit, we're going to slowly add some cold milk. This is going to be a nice like white sauce, like a cheddar base. This is what it is. But let it sit. Let it cook. We want that butter to melt. We want that oil to incorporate. And of course, as I've said like 10 billion times already, we want that raw flour taste to come out. So I'm going to let that sit for a minute while I get my cold milk. In the meantime, I'm going to add a little bit of salt. I'm going to add a little bit of pepper. Well, I'm going to add a lot of bit of pepper because I actually really love pepper. It's one of my favorite spices as you've heard before. And we just let that kind of sit until we add our milk. Now, I'm using whole fat milk here. And I've got my handy dandy measuring cup. I'm going to use two cups. Boom. Get it right to the line like that. Now for the tricky part. Getting this in there and incorporating it perfectly. They always say, like on all the other cooking shows that I see, hot room, cold milk, or cold stock, or cold whatever, insert liquid here. So, it's supposed to prevent lumps. We're going to see just how well that works. So, I'm going to grab my handy dandy whisk. And I'm going to just add a little bit of milk. Not much. It's just a little bit. Just to kind of get it working. It, this seems like it's a big pain in the butt. You know, I, I know I said this was a nice and simple recipe. And it actually really is. There's not that much involved with it. 
You just gotta get this working. Get it working. See, it looks really clumpy and lumpy, and you're gonna be thinking to yourself, like, oh wow, this is not working out. Oh, look at this. Like, that is not smooth at all. Well, look how much milk we have left to add. Trust me. We're gonna turn our heat off. And just continue to incorporate because this is a scorching hot skillet. And see, look, it's already turning into almost like a gravy-like consistency. Well, at this point, like doughy and lumpy gravy. But we're not done adding our milk yet. Keep going, keep going. Don't worry about it. It looks weird at this point, but we are not done yet. Look at all that milk. I'm going to dump the rest of it in. And just continue to whisk. Remember, this is going into a boiling hot soup. It's going to continue to cook. So we don't want to make it absolutely just perfect right now. If it's if you could just eat this right out of the skillet, but well, you could, it's still going to taste all right. But uh, it's going into the soup. Oh well, look at that. Yeah, watch your watch your wrist. See how it splays out. I got a special whisk that splays out when you put too much pressure on it, but if you do it too quickly, you make a mess. So, don't be like me. Don't make a mess. See? See how smooth that's getting? The longer we whisk this, the smoother it gets. I know this is probably the longest part of the video because this is actually the trickiest part, and I want to make sure that you do this correctly. Just keep doing it. Just whisk, whisk, whisk. See? Look at this. Working out quite well. Do you know what the last part is? After you've got this pretty smooth, get your chowder base ready. There's one more thing you need to do. Oh wait, there's actually three things that you need to do. Make sure you've got your handy dandy little, uh, especially, you know, if you like Halloween, Halloween inspired little hot pad. Look at this thing. It, it, is, it is just boiling like crazy. What I am going to do is take my little Halloween hot pads and I'm going to pull up this forward because I do not want to accidentally spill and burn myself. I burn myself all the time. Got scars everywhere from this stuff. And look. Dump it. I know that looks funky, doesn't it? Doesn't it look funky? It really does. Just let it do its thing. Let it go. Take your little spatula and look. See, yeah, I know. It looks all pasty. It looks all weird. Don't worry about that. Do not worry about that at all. This is a basic roux. And you actually kind of don't want it to be completely smooth. You don't you, you don't want it to be completely smooth. Otherwise, it will actually overcook once you put it in here. Just dump it in, give it a stir. Boom. Good to go. Now we're going to take our bacon. Now, I am going to reserve some of this bacon. So I'm going to put it on top of our soup. There we go. I'm going to throw some of it in there. Save some back. This is the killer. That cheese, dump it. All of it. Every bit. The cheese is actually going to help thicken it. It's not going to be incredibly thick right off the gate, but that's okay. This needs to cook, it needs to melt. I'm gonna put it back on the heat. I'm gonna test it for flavor. It might need some salt. I'm pretty sure it's gonna need some salt. It's definitely gonna need some pepper. Um, I'm definitely adding cayenne to this. And if it comes down to it, which it just might, I'm gonna add a cornstarch slurry. You've seen that in videos before. Really quick, really simple soup. So I'm going to put this back on the heat without the lid so that it'll reduce a little bit. It'll help thicken it. And um, yeah, we'll see you in a minute. Now 
Once your soup is cooked to your desired consistency, put it in a bowl. Add your bacon, fresh red onions, a little bit of parsley. You have to make it look nice, you know. And parsley does actually add flavor, believe it or not. Check this out. Got my ladle, got my bowl. This is a nice, cheesy potato chowder. Now, you'll notice, well, if you can see this, there's a bay leaf in there. Look at that guy. Ugh. You don't want to chew on that. It imparts flavor, that's all you want. Get rid of those. Let's let us in. We've got this ham. We've got the cheese, we've got the potato, we've got the corn, we've got the carrot. Oh, we're looking good here. We're looking good. Oh, yes. At this point, what we want to do is just throw some bacon and some crunchy onions. Now, I don't know if you like these crunchy onions, but I eat them like chips. I mean, they're, they're so good. So good. Put some bacon on top. There's already bacon in it, and the ham. We've got this nice smoky flavor. Um, the cheese that we put in, amazing. I have already tasted this, just not on camera. I don't like to eat on camera, it's weird. I know what a lot of the other cooking people do, but I don't know, I, I, don't, I don't like to eat in front of people, so I, I don't eat in front of you. No offense. But, yeah, a little bit of parsley. Boom. Now, since I'm serving this up to Chef Lynn, this is one thing you want to do when you're serving your wife or your friends or anybody. Just clean up the bowl a little bit. Kind of dripped a little bit on one side. So, just make sure it's clean. Just use a paper towel. Just kind of wipe it up. There we go. This is a ham, potato, and cheese chowder uh, with bacon. I don't know how well you can see that. Oh, ooh, just like I did in the other one. This, oh, yeah, I have tasted it. And I hope you do too, I hope you make this. Um, let me know in the comments below um, what you would do different, if anything. Um, let me know in the comments below if you actually tried to make this. Um, I've had a few people make my recipes and they actually like them. Um, I've had a couple make them and they're like, oh, that's terrible. So if it's terrible, let me know. And uh, most importantly, tell me how I can make it better. But uh, I really hope you enjoy this. I really hope you uh, try it. Um, ring the little bell so you know when I uh, upload videos. And um, like, subscribe, share. And most importantly, stay foodie.